we're going to take the song that we did in yesterday's lesson and see what it looks like written in a different time signature. Um, I want you to see how the 16th note rhythms are really not that hard um, if you break them down and think of the 8th note as being the beat, which is what you have in 3-8 time. Um, so let's, yesterday we did Out of Eternity, and the 8th note is, we have three 8th notes in every measure, or the equivalent, the 8th note is the beat. So let's say the rhythm in 3-8 time. The beat is ta, ta, ta. Ready, go. Ta 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 di ta di ta di ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta di ta di ta di ta ta. Remember that this is two different ways to write eighth notes. You can connect them with the flag this way, or write them separately. The same thing with the sixteenths. Let's look at the three four time now. In 3-4 time, we have three quarter notes, or the equivalent in each measure. Um, so, where we have three eighth notes in three eighths, we have three quarter notes here. Let's compare as we go along. We have a dotted eighth and a sixteenth, dotted quarter and an eighth. And every time we have two sixteenths, we have two eighths, just like that. Um, here's the dotted eighth and sixteenth pattern again, dotted quarter eighth. And then this is the same as we saw before. Of course, we can write the eighth notes unconnected or we can write them connected. And then a dotted quarter note here in 3-8 and in 3-4 a dotted half note. So all the values of the notes are, are um, twice in 3-4 time. We have eighth notes here and here we have quarter notes. Whoops, that one. Um, so let's do the rhythm on here and then we'll go straight into this one. The rhythm, will, the tempo will stay the same but the beat will be the quarter note here. Ready, go. Ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta, di, ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta. Ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta, di, ta, di, ta, ta. Ta 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 di ta di ta di ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta di ta di ta di ta ta. And I did not um I did not do the repeat as I had it written here. I I didn't even put one up there, did I? It's around, so we would repeat it. Um. Let's look at the solfege also. Uh, both of these songs, it's the same key. So the last note in the song is B, and the last note here is B. The first one is down here, this B, and the other one is here. But they're exactly the same song. So you see it starts out with la 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 mi. So we have space, we skip a space. The next space here, we start with a line. And we go line, skip a line, and up to the next line. Um, so throughout, we um, the patterns are exactly the same. So we go down and then back up by steps, down and back up by steps. We just start at a different place on the staff. So let's sing the solfege here. La 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 mi re do ti la ti do. That's all for today. Um, when you see those 16th note rhythms, don't let them throw you. Um, you can always make the 8th note, slow it down and make the 8th note the beat, and then it makes it a lot simpler. That's all.